Hello everyone. I wanted to do a recording to update my recording regarding the heavy combat armor location. Before I do that, I want to first say thank you to everyone for all the views and comments. It means a great deal to me to see that support. I need all the support or help that I can get um, to achieve my goals. Um, one of my major goals is a project on Twitch to uh, set up a network that will provide support to other Twitch streamers. If they need another Twitch streamer to partner up with, or if they need some sort of technical help, such as what computer to buy for streaming and that kind of thing, then that's what my uh, network is designed for. I can't get to that point until um, I get enough backing and support to do so. The other goal that I have, assuming that the Twitch project is successful, is I want to be a talk show streamer. Um, that has been a lifelong goal of mine to be able to get on microphone and discuss everyday issues. Um, share my information and uh, advice with other people. So, without further ado, let's go and get this going. So, in the recording, I said that um, I got the heavy combat armor from Quincy Ruins, and I showed it on the recording. Um, I got all but one piece from here. Uh, in the comments, people were saying that they had the exact same issue as I did. So, I think the deal with Quincy Ruins is that it's a fixed location, but the piece that's missing will always be random. What I mean is this, is that one person can go here and they won't get the arm piece. Another person can come down here and they will get the arm piece. Um, the other thing I wish to discuss on top of that is... Uh, some of the comments said that they were able to get heavy combat armor at levels less than 30. Um, I will point out that information on Fallout 4, in terms of the wikis and the uh, posts people make, they're not going to be 100% accurate at this time, because Fallout is still relatively new and there's a lot to explore. This is a very large game. So, at best, the information is conflicting. Some people say you have to be level 40 plus to get heavy armor. Uh, other people say you don't. Another intriguing piece of information that was in the comments is something that happened while I was doing this recording. They said that uh, levels and uh, drop rate is affected by the zones themselves, um, I think is what they were trying to say. So if I'm understanding them correctly, they are saying that um, basically the further away you are from Vault 111, the higher level things will be. I guess that makes some sense because I do have the uh, Prima strategy guide for Fallout 4. This is how I'm aware of most locations on the map when I come out here to verify information. So in my strategy guide, um, it does mention that there are some zones that are going to be between 1 and 45 plus. So I guess if somebody wants to verify any of that information, then uh, feel free to do so. Um, if you find anything, though, please update me. Let me uh, move on to the very last comment I wish to approach. So, they were asking if there's another place to try for heavy combat armor. I'm only aware of one other, and that's the Gunner's Plaza. Gunner's Plaza um, is the headquarters of the Gunners. So this is very high level. You will notice this when approaching the building because there is a fat man and a missile launcher gunner on the roof. So um, I would be very cautious with this particular area. 
Uh, once you get inside, I think there's three named gunners. I can't really remember. But um, this is a this is another good location to try if you want to. Um, I did not have any luck with this particular area. I only got normal combat armor. Other people have said that they have had luck with this. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, I was level 32, I, th I think, when I did this. So I, I just don't know. Um, you know, another thing I kind of wish to bring up um, in regards to the uh, not finding it at Gunner's Plaza and what I said earlier after uh, the Quincy comment, um, I'm wondering if luck has some sort of effect on this because um, the luck special itself does say that it increases your chance for better items. I'm wondering if um, high enough luck can alter uh, the randomness of the items. Um, I did Gunner's Plaza and Quincy Ruins at 5 luck, so I don't know. Um, but I'll finish up this recording by telling you where to find Gunner's Plaza. Um, Gunner's Plaza is going to be direct south of Diamond City. From Quincy Ruins, it's going to be um, slight northwest. And from Electrical Hobbyist Club, uh, which you'll find when you are doing the Golden Sea Quest, um, it's going to be directly southeast of that. Um, if you're having issues uh, figuring out the directions from either of those three points, the other thing you can try is following the railroad track looking thing here on the Pip-Boy map. As you can see, it runs along the left side of Gunner's Plaza, and it continues going all the way up until it makes this uh, intersection, I guess you can say, just by Hardware Town. Keep following that, you'll run into Vault 81, and then finally it runs into Overland Station. Uh, way up here. So, I hope that helps you. I'm sorry that I don't have um, any more information than that. Um, so yeah, again, thank you everyone. This is all I have for you.